Hi, I am Audumbar Patkar. This is lecture 6 of the module Water. In this lecture, we are going to learn one of the important water softening process, that is lime soda process. Let's first see what is meant by softening of water. It is the process of removing or reducing concentration of hardness causing salts from water. We learned that mainly salts of calcium and magnesium responsible for producing hardness in water. So the process used to remove such hardness causing salts from water is called softening process. And water we get after this process is called soft water. There are several techniques used for water softening. Three of the most important and widely used techniques in the industry are lime soda process, ion exchange process, and geolite process. Let's see how this lime soda process works. In this process, Hard water is treated with calculated amount of select lime that is calcium hydroxide and soda ash that is sodium carbonate in a reaction tanks so as to convert hardness producing calcium and magnesium soluble salts into insoluble compounds. So one need to analyze the water first for its hardness and then calculate amount of lime and soda required to add to remove hardness. When you mix these chemicals with hard water in a reaction tank, soluble salts of calcium and magnesium get converted to insoluble salts or precipitate. And this precipitate can be easily removed by techniques like sedimentation or filtration to get soft water. Let's see actual chemistry behind this. We learnt the hard water contains salts of calcium and magnesium like bicarbonates, chloride, sulphate and nitrate form. When such salts reacts with lime, that is calcium hydroxide, it produces insoluble or uh, precipitate form of respective salt like carbonate or hydroxide. But as you can see, chloride, sulfate and nitrate of calcium which is soluble in water cannot be precipitated using lime. Hence we need one more chemical soda. And this soda is nothing but sodium carbonate. So this soluble Calcium salts react with this soda that is sodium carbonate to produce precipitate form calcium carbonate. So at the end we will get soft water by removing this precipitate from water. Now in practice this process is carried out by two methods cold and hot. So let's first talk about cold lime soda process. Here you can see the diagram of continuous cold lime soda softener. This is outer chamber with the outlet for sludge, wood fiber filter and outlet for soft water. This is inner vertical circular chamber. This chamber 
is fitted with vertical shaft carrying number of paddles which can be rotated using a motor. As you can see inlets for chemicals and raw water are also provided. This process is carried out at room temperature and hence called cold process. Raw water and calculated quantity of chemicals are fed from the top into inner vertical circular chamber fitted with vertical rotating shaft carrying a number of paddles. As the raw water and chemicals flow down, there is a vigorous steering and continuous mixing takes place in this region. That means Soluble salts of calcium and magnesium get converted to insoluble salts by reacting with lime and soda. At room temperature, the precipitate formed are finely divided and do not settle down easily and cannot be filtered easily. So, coagulants we added like alum or sodium aluminate will help to entrap the fine precipitate and fasten the process of sedimentation. This precipitate that means heavy sludge settle down in the outer chamber and can be drawn off occasionally. As water level goes up slowly Softened water passes through a wood fiber filter to remove sludge completely and through the outlet at the top will get filtered soft water. Hot lime soda process. As you can see in the diagram, hot lime soda plant consists of three parts, a reaction tank, conical sedimentation tank and sand filter. The softening process takes place at a temperature about 80 to 150 degree centigrade. In a reaction tank, raw water and chemicals are heated by superheated steam at boiling temperature to mix thoroughly. At high temperature, reaction takes place at faster rate. When this water comes in the chemical sedimentation tank, precipitate form settle down rapidly and hence no coagulants like alum or sodium aluminum required. As viscosity of hot softened water is lower, filtration of water becomes much easier when water passes through sand filter. And finally, we will get filtered soft water. So that's it for now. In next lecture, we will solve some numericals on this process. Thank you.